more than 1,600 miles, 75 players, 85 hotel rooms, and just one man plans it all. Jason Grooms, Director of Football Operations. I am in charge of all aspects of travel, hotel, charters, planes, buses. Grooms has been preparing for this trip since January. He organizes everything. So how does he stay organized? Lots of lists. You can kind of look around and I've got a lot of checklists. You know, I got a lot of paper and my board behind me here. Grooms even maps out the trip for every person in the travel party, broken down by the minute. We'll put our schedule for the week or for the weekend on this card. I'll you know, shrink it down. This whole file right here, which is our minute by minute travel itinerary, I'll put it on this card in a little bit smaller font. I have to use the back sometimes. And then uh, what we'll do is we put it inside this. Uh, plastic uh, lanyard holder. So what's a typical day like for the director of football operations? I live on my email. I'm constantly doing that. We practice at 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm in here at 7 a.m. Um, we're checking emails then and then after practice from 11 till you know 5, 6, 7 o'clock, whatever it be, I'm working on the phone and the email. Even with careful planning, last minute issues can always come up. Uh, the locker room uh, space at New Mexico State is not what was listed in their travel manual. They'd done some uh, renovations there and we lost about 20 lockers out of space. We found out it's not air conditioned, uh, so we've had to rent portable air conditioners and a, uh, a tent to attach to the outside of the locker room to be able to adjust our space. Uh, so like a party tent has been brought in. Uh, so that got thrown on me about two days ago and then I found out yesterday because of the altitude and humidity levels there's a good chance that we will not be flying out of the same airport we flew into, that we'll be having to bus back to El Paso uh, and fly out of there after the game. We want to do a walkthrough, and we want to do a walkthrough at most places. When we land, we, we couldn't, can't get on the field until 6 o'clock at night, so we're actually going to take the team to uh, a non-hotel property to eat dinner, which we've never done before. We've never had to go to, we always eat our meals at the property we're staying at, they, the banquet meals and things like that. So. We're actually going to a, a country club at a golf course. Uh, Coach Godowski and Coach Leitner both coached at New Mexico State prior to coming here. They knew of a facility. They knew the people at the golf course. We called them. They said, absolutely, we'd love to have you. But getting the team to Las Cruces is only half the job. Sending all the stuff, well, that's the other half. Matt Morton and his crew pack a very full truck. We've got everything on there from uniforms, uh, jerseys, pants, all the, all the guys' pads, all the athletic training supplies, we've got game day communication stuff that goes on the sideline, lots of water, a lot of liquids on there, extra supplies to fix helmets, shoulder pads, uh, any types of repairs we need to do uh, before, during, or after the game. In a weird, twisted way, it's been, it's been a month-long process, you know, since camp started we've been, we've been getting ready for this, uh, trying to make sure everyone has what they need. Uh, you know, everyone asks if you're ready. We'll, we'll know on Sunday after the game if we're ready or not. So we try to build off each week. Uh, usually we don't forget anything, but every now and then you, you forget a few things. So it, it's been a month-long process, and uh, I think we're ready to roll, um, hopefully. And as the truck pulls away, Morton can breathe a sigh of relief. We've got more work to do, but again, this is one less thing we've got to worry about. And, we can kind of put it behind us until we show up. 